How's it going guys, Root Junkie here. In today's video we have the HTC 10 and we're gonna go ahead and unlock the bootloader. Now, this process is gonna be very, very similar uh, across any HTC device to get an unlocked bootloader. And I'm gonna walk through it for you today. So first thing we need to do is we need to come in here into settings, scroll down to about, go to software information, click on more, and here should be your build number. So under build number, you're just going to tap on it a whole bunch of times until it says you are now a developer. We're going to go back, 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 and now you should have developer options right above about. Go ahead and click into there. Say don't ask for developer options. Make sure it's checked on top. It should be defaultly. And then we're going to check right here. OEM unlock. Allow the bootloader to be unlocked. So go ahead and check that. Put in your password, so I'm going to do mine. Hit enable. And then I'd also turn on USB debugging. Allow USB debugging. And you should be set up in the phone. Now we can go ahead and run all the commands we need. So let's go over to my computer. Okay, so here we are on the computer on htcdev.com. Um, you're going to go ahead and need an account. You can see I signed in here for me. Um, go ahead and create an account. The account creating is free, but get signed in and then you're going to go to this right here, unlock bootloader. And then you're going to click on start and or get started. And it should go ahead and open up the screens to get started here. So there's a lot of warning and information you can read here. Go ahead and do that if you feel like it. Um, we're going to keep moving. So right here, you go through here, find your device. Mine is the HTC 10, so I'll click on that. And then begin unlock bootloader. Say yes. Are you sure you want to continue? Yes, acknowledge these warnings. Most of the time unlocking your bootloader will void your warranty, so just be aware of that. Um, requirements, you can see right here, it says the Google Android SDK zip. You can download that here if you want. Um, Java right there side sync which is for your drivers now I'm gonna tell you you can also get most of that stuff from my site I think maybe easier whichever way you wanna go is fine with me right here is the ADB fastboot files you can download that and extract it to a f file and then if you um, go back you can get the drivers right here from HTC drivers right here this is the uh, driver suite that they use right there so if you want to get those there you can get them or you can use from HTC dev it doesn't matter to me um, so from here it talks about doing that unlock we already did by tapping on the build number and turning on developer options and so on and then it says to download fastboot um, file right here so I'll go ahead and download theirs um, we'll go ahead and agree fastboot binary for Linux I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna download. I'm just gonna download them all, just for the fun of it. Why not? Fastboot binary for Windows. Let's do the Windows one and Mac. Might as well. Come on. You don't have to download all of them. You only need to download the ones for your operating system. But I just figured I'd do them all. So that being said, I'm gonna extract them into this folder. This is the one I set up for doing all of my unlocks. Um, so we're just gonna copy them all. and paste them in and then I'm going to extract the Windows one which which is funny it's just it's the same file you'll get from Google it's basically this file right there the fastboot exe file so and then this which is like a ghost file doesn't mean nothing so you just have the fastboot exe file so that's the Windows version right there which is what I'm on alright so we've got those files extracted um, we'll go ahead and it says to connect to the computer. So let's go ahead and do that. Connect our phone up to the computer and let our drivers install. There you go. I connected mine up. And actually, you can see it. And then also it says USB transfer, yes. And you're going to see more drivers installing. Right here, are all my drivers, you can see they're all installing. And then normally, you might get a pop-up for USB debugging, but you may not. It's hard to say. All right, so drivers are installed. If they don't, like I said, install that suite they talk about right here. HTC Sync Manager. That'll get your drivers if they don't auto-install. So hit Next Step. And basically, it tells you to boot into bootloader mode and to run this command right here. 
because we're going to get the identifier token. So copy that. And to get into fast boot mode, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy my ADB files. These are in my ADB stuff and put them in the right folder. Paste. So now I can run ADB and fastboot commands because I have the binaries for both. So I'll hold shift on your computer, right click, open command window here, and now we can type ADB devices and hit enter. And now you get the prompt over here, so I'll always allow and then hit OK. And now I can do ADB commands with the device. See, it says unauthorized, but once I do that command again, now that I've allowed it, it should come back devices. So that's a good sign. All right, so from now, we can type in ADB reboot bootloader. And that will reboot our device into bootloader mode, which you can see right here. And if you can see up on top, it currently says locked S on. So that's bootloader locked and security is on. That's what that stands for. So we should be able to, to run fast boot commands from here. So let's do fast boot devices. This makes sure that your drivers for fast boot are installed correctly. If it comes back with the same serial number and fast boot, then we can run our command. Now normally you can do these commands from bootloader mode, but I guess HTC set it up funny so you have to go to download mode to run this fast boot command, which is a little goofy to me, but that's how they do it. So to do that, you're going to go volume down to boot to bootloader mode and hit enter or hit power I should say and that will boot you into bootloader mode and then we can run our commands so let's run that command right here right here and we'll go ahead and copy that not the period don't do the period copy that and we'll put it in here so paste and then hit enter and there you go so the best thing to do right here is do right click mark and then mark that all the way to that see it then go up to the top bar right click edit copy and that copied that text exactly so now we can go back here to the HTC dev bootloader site and we can scroll down this is just giving you examples of what you're copying um, da, 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 da. and then we're just going to hit here and paste it in and hit submit token submitted successfully you've been sent an email with your unlock key as a file attached please view this email for further instructions and completing the process for your bootloader so let me go into my email all right so here we go this is the email with the click here to continue bootloader unlock process there is a unlock bin so I'm gonna go ahead and download that right there unlock code bin and let's click on this to finish the process up so here we go final steps you will receive this email blankety blank and here is what you need to do it which is interesting so we're still in download mode let me go ahead and pull that file so go to downloads find your bin cut paste it in this folder that we have our command window open in and then we run that command so that command is right here fast boot flash unlock token code unlock code bin whatever so we'll copy that and then it's going to come up with this window and we're going to finish through these step, final steps. And to relock it, it tells you how to do that as well. All right, so we're going to go right back in here, paste this in, paste, and that should flash the unlock code bin and hit enter. And there you go. This is the final warning here about unlocking the bootloader. So unlock may void warranty. So press volume button to select yes or no and power button to continue. So, so there's yes is up and no is down. So yes, and then hit power. And there you go. That should unlock the bootloader. This should, this will wipe data factory set the device. And if you read through all the HTC stuff, you would see that that is also the case. So be prepared for that. You'll have to set it all up new. But this is really the first thing you should do 
when you get your device is go ahead and unlock the bootloader and that way you'll have it ready to rock and roll for custom ROMs, development, root access, and so on. So we should be good at this point. If we go back into bootloader mode at some point here, where it said unlock and S on, it should say, or said locked and S on, it should say unlock and S on. And eventually we'll get S off. I'll probably show you those videos, how to root this thing, and many, many more. We are officially done on the computer at this point. I would keep your files and everything set up in here like you have it currently. Just an excellent, excellent thing to have set up so we can then use the same features and files set up to do other commands and other steps as I do more videos on the HTC 10. But unlocking the bootloader is definitely the first of many videos I'll be having on this device. So stay tuned for those. I'm going to let it reboot and just boot into bootloader mode one last time just to show you that we have the unlocked bootloader. As you can see, we are completely reset. So uh, just saying I'm connected to USB again. I'm just going to go ahead and skip right through the setup wizard, which actually looks really cool. I'm actually liking it a lot. Uh, just I'm just skipping through it so I can get to the next point here. So once you've skipped through all this, um, then what you're going to need to do is just go right through it all. There we go. You need to go back into the device and go back into developer options and turn that all back on again. So yeah, see developer options isn't there. And we'll go right back in here. We'll tap on the build number a whole bunch more times to get this set up once more. Whoops, don't want to hit that one. No, I don't want to make it smaller. Come on. We'll go back back developer options okay again it's checked OEM is still checked which is good oh, uh, USB debugging we'll turn that one back on as well we'll go ahead and allow that prompt one more time and now your device is set back up we can run that command to go into the bootloader not right now okay so we'll do it one more time for my computer I'm not gonna show you the command but it's just ADB reboot bootloader you saw me do it earlier and this will boot us back in there, and we should be able to see that new status. And there it is, right on top. It says uh, unlocked and S on. So there you go. We have unlocked the bootloader officially with uh, htcdev.com. Again, this should work on all HTC devices. This is the HTC 10. Very soon I'll be showing you guys how to get S off, how to install Torp Recovery, how to get root access, and many, many more videos. So stay tuned for those. Subscribe. We'll catch you guys in the next one. Root Junkie out.